Welcome everyone to our weekly huddle. Okay, how incredible have the last few weeks been? Watching Jesus calm the storm on the Sea of Galilee, watching Jesus' authority over that legion, that demonic host of spirits that was harassing that man. Powerful, dramatic stories that are communicating something really important to us about Jesus' purpose and about his identity. This weekend, we're going to watch the close of four critical miracles that are meant to communicate to us the full range and breadth of Jesus' gospel message and purpose. This weekend, we're going to be looking at Jesus' authority over disease, a woman who's been bleeding for 12 years. And then secondly, Jairus, who just when everything seems to have reached a point of desperation that nothing can help him, no one can intervene, we're going to watch Jesus reach into the darkness of death and raise up his little girl from the dead. And so we look at these miracles Jesus' authority over the storms, Jesus' authority over demonic spirits, his authority over disease, and then finally over death as a critical four-part frame showing us the full range of his gospel purpose. In Mark chapter 1, verse 15, Jesus lays out his purpose for us. He says, the time has come, the kingdom of God has come near, repent and believe the good news. And everything that Jesus says and does, he is showing us what the gospel is and how we can be a part of it. How we can receive Jesus in a way that allows the full power of his good news to transform our life, the lives of those around us, and change our world. And so this weekend, that's what we're going to explore. How can we receive Jesus so that the full power of his good news can transform our lives and touch the lives of those around us and be unleashed in the world? So I want to encourage you this weekend to be doing a few things. Number one, I would love your prayer as I come to the final phase of preparing my message. So pray for me as I write my message that God would just give me clarity, um, just words of insight, words of encouragement, and a clear gospel presentation. Secondly, please be praying for those who are hearing the gospel for the first time. Every weekend, I want you to understand that we have people who have never been to church before. Already, I know about people inviting family members and friends who have never heard the gospel. So please pray for God's saving grace to be at work in people's hearts this weekend. And then lastly, for those of us who are believers who have heard the gospel a hundred times, but need to hear it afresh and applied to an area of our life where maybe like the woman who'd been bleeding for 12 years or Jairus, where we feel at the end of ourselves, where we are tempted to give up hope. I want to pray that for you and for us, that we would experience a renewal of our faith and experience of Jesus Christ's gospel and its power to save us in body, mind, and spirit. So let's look forward to this weekend as we watch Jesus bring his gospel power into our life afresh. I'll see you soon. God bless.